everybody. My name is Janet. And my name is Mike. And it is 2016 at the Book Report. You've probably heard the phrase, you can't judge a book by its cover. Which is true, except Mike and I are professionals. <laughs> so we can do things that other people are not qualified to do, such as judging a book by its cover. We've gone through um, the most anticipated books of 2016 list put out by The Millions, which you should check out. We took some of those covers and without knowing any details of what the books are about, we're going to predict what that book is about. Well, the first one I'm judging uh, by its cover is called The Girls by Emma Klein. It takes place in the 60s, maybe early 70s. Um, and I think what it's about is an optometrist who somehow falls in with the Manson family. You know, maybe obsessed with a certain Beatles song. Definitely drugs. Oh, so many drugs. Yeah, I think I think by page three. Well, the first book that I'm judging by its cover is called Shelter by Young Yun, perhaps. I apologize if that's incorrect. What I know about this book is that somebody had a tragic childhood. For sure. Um, I think there was a specific tragedy that happened, and you're not going to get the details of it until like two thirds of the way through the book, but they're going to be hinted at. Like they'll always be talking about like the night after the carnival or something. And you'll be like, what happened the night after the carnival? But she's definitely grown up and has a pet named after a philosopher or a jazz musician. Okay, so my next one is called The Sport of Kings by C.E. Morgan. And this one I had a tough time with, like, what is the sport of kings they're talking about? The cover does not make it obvious. Um, is it chess? So, I, I, oh, I, chess was my first thought, oh, and I thought it's maybe more of a game. The next book that I am predicting is called The Throwback Special by Chris Bachelder. Bachelder? Bachelder? There's definitely an ensemble cast. Like, it's either going to yeah. be, like, the workers and denizens of a diner or like the uh, members of a the town football team or something. It's definitely going to be a large cast of lots of secondary characters and some of them are going to be purely comic relief but then there will be like one poignant story. Yeah. And so this book is going to make a lot of summer reading lists because they're like if you want to be treed but you don't want a stupid book like it's going to be this book it's going to be everywhere on the summer reading list it's going to be the Absolutely. new beautiful ruins the next novel i'm predicting is the daredevils by gary omdahl <laughs> spoiler alert this book is about a man this book does not pass the bechdel test fyi um the main character is sort of an emotionally stunted man I'm pretty sure that he has an ex-girlfriend who was very beautiful, who he's kind of hung up on and, like, talks about a lot, and maybe, like, there's flashbacks. And uh, I am also 100% sure that there's going to be some small physical detail that he mentions of hers, like, a thousand times. Like, maybe she has a freckle on her left shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just going to talk about that ad nauseum. Mm -hmm. um, because... Look, look at that boat. It's, it's obvious. It might be excerpted in the Paris Review. And again, just based on the font. Uh, my next one is called The Winter Girl by Matt Marinovich. Now, I am 99% sure that the girl of the title is dead or in danger of being killed. It's not good. It's not a good situation for the winter girl. Yeah, there will I'm, be I'm no sure spring girl. So my next one is called Everybody's Fool by Richard Russo. There's a mill that closed recently. Um, everyone's kind of sad, but they have sort of a flinty sense of humor about it. Um, and they're like, hey, what are you going to do? That's just the way it goes here in upstate New York, uh, northern Ohio, maybe maybe like central Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, and there's going to be a waitress who's sassy, uh, but has her own problems, and then the, the hero is going to be, you know, a, a man who's lost his job. Oh, and I, I think there's probably going to be a no good brother or cousin too. Oh. Maybe maybe not like bad, maybe not evil, but down on his luck for sure, kind of feckless yeah. and um, yeah. Because it's hard to escape a bad past in a small town. 
It really is. And once once they shut down the old textile paper uh, something mill, you know, I don't know, steel. It could be it could be anything. The last book I'm predicting is called I Am No One by Patrick Flannery. This book is about New York, and I'm not going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 2016, judged by its covers. Again, don't fact check any of this information because we are positive that we're correct. But in all seriousness, all these books look amazing. Mm -hmm. You should check them out. And many, many other books on the Millions 2016 uh, Great Book Preview. And come back in two weeks when we'll be talking about some more of 2016's great books. Absolutely. We'll see you then. See you then. We'll never walk alone, Mike. Never walk alone, Jeff.